hi guys yes it's still in hong kong and just another vlog and hope you enjoy so welcome to fair food da kuai huo. it's a mcdonald version of hong kong cafe i would say where you can get food in a very short time and it's cheaper than usual hong kong cafe all right so we decided to pop up at k11 museum just to check it out their art and culture together with a view at victoria harbour as it seems like it's going to be cloudy the whole day so let's see what we can get I'm really amazed by this architecture of the mall. As you can see, there's all the windings and different fold doubles, but it just blends well together. So we haven't got a lot of time, but we decided to start off with the top highest floor and then we work our way down so that we can try to see what's uh, the difference between each floor. Let's go! We have now arrived at the art gallery section, but you gotta pay for more if you're interested for specific art galleries at the moment. But we just decided to look around and that's it. On this same floor, this is where you can get this spectacular view of Victoria Harbour. Oh, damn. Oh my God. But it's a little bit cloudy today, so not the best view. We're not into shopping at the moment and we have a friend to meet later on during lunchtime so we decided to head out at the Victoria Harbour just to have a look how the weather is and the view. What we believe in, but our curious hearts had us believing we'd be okay. Along the path we ventured, <laughs> what we seek, we had no reason. It was a heart whose doubt was fleeting. Let us to say. There's some like, What if we trip? What if we fall? What if we make him mess up? What if we Actually, just suck on it. How do you suck on it? Your tongue. I just, I just suck, suck, suck on it. Lose the lead we had made. What if we trip? Okay. What if we fall? Take like liver-ish kind of stuff. There's 
So we are now heading to the top of Sky 100 as Ian's friends are so kind enough that he's able to get uh, only a few dollars tickets instead of usually it's going to cost around not sure maybe 20 to 30 bucks but today's weather was so bad but he's decided just to bring us there and just to see how tall the tower is and bring us around but you can see later on we can't basically see anything from the top of the tower.
So basically, Tezai mean literally means Tezai mean in Mandarin, and in English it means cut noodles. The reason how cut noodle this term came by is from back in olden days. It used to be those street vendors where they sell these noodles along the street, so that it's nice, quick, and easy. And from there, you can choose the soup base, noodle, and just a few toppings. But of course, nowadays people are more into more ingredients, more fresh stuff on it. So now you can choose a variety from like all the different meats to veggies to seafood、um, as what you like. So that's the best thing about this noodle because you can't go wrong with it. If it goes wrong, it's because what you choose. So basically, you're responsible about your own dish. So this is what I've ordered: a mala soup base with a thick egg noodle. Top it up with braised large intestine. I know some people don't eat organs, but you gotta try this. I promise. Beef tendon bowl. If you like bouncy bouncy bowls, then you should actually try them too. Next up, daikon radish. It looks boring, but it's one of the toppings that you have to order because it soaks up all the juice and the amount of time that they put it in the soup. Beef try. My personal favorite. Not for everyone, but I like it because it's nice and chewy. Next one, fish paste dumpling. So basically, instead of wonton skin, it's wrapped with fish paste, and inside is just minced meat with a little bit of seasoning. Last one, which is braised beef. Overall, this dish is ten out of ten for me. Well, our night has not quite ended yet. So we happened to pass by a street food store and decided to try the、uh, fish siu mai, which is one of the famous street food right here in Hong Kong. So usually people will order a few sticks and have it along the side of the stalls and have a chit chat with their friends or colleagues, and then they'll order more if they want to. It's just like a place instead of going to a restaurant or a bar. It's hot. Yeah, and.